There are few places in this world that are truly untouched, and where time seems to have just stopped. And this place is one of them. You see, tucked away in the northern corner of Albania, lies a region forgotten by many, and as over the years, the rest of the country has started to open up after its 40-year isolation from the world, this place seems to have stayed hidden. I first heard of this region through an article showing the wildest mountains in Europe and read that it is home to one of the most beautiful hikes in the world. And so if you know anything about me, you'll know that once I get a scent of adventure, I just have to follow it. And so I travel deep into these mountains to experience this hike for myself and to show you a different side of Europe's mountains. This is the Albanian Alps. Good morning and welcome to Valbon in the north of Albania. This town is so beautiful and mountainous. I arrived here last night and it's just stunning. All around the town it's just these massive, massive mountains and I'm heading out to find the trail to hike to Theth, which is supposed to be one of the most beautiful hikes in all of Albania. So make sure you stick around to see the amazing views we're going to see and explore this amazing country with me. Let's go. So the trailhead is actually a couple kilometers outside of the village, but that's not a problem at all because the views are just incredible all along the road anyway. So it feels like I'm hiking already, but just on a nice flat uh, paved road, which is nice and easy to start. <laughs> and I just kept thinking to myself, if this is how good the views are down here, then I just couldn't wait to get to the peak. You can really see why this place is often referred to as the Albanian Alps because there is just these massive cascading mountains standing high over the valley we're in right now and they are just incredibly, incredibly picturesque and it honestly feels like I'm in Switzerland right now. And although the similarities with the Alps were definitely there, this place just had so much of its own rugged charm that it truly felt unlike anywhere I'd ever been before. So the tar road's actually finished and we're now walking through a dried up riverbed. There's a little bit of water on the side, but at the moment it's dry and it's just stunning. Getting really wild now. So, 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 so beautiful. <laughs> And there's actually just this abandoned building here which looks like it might have just been built too close to the river and then it's all been washed away at the bottom so they've obviously had to abandon it but i can see why they built it here <laughs> it's incredible views I literally can't stop smiling. This is like my dream. Just massive raw mountains and a valley walking through them. Oh, I'm actually in heaven right now. It's incredible to be here. And the fact that not many people know that there's such mountains and such wild places like this in Albania makes it so special. It was at this point I realized that I was only now arriving at the trailhead and that all of the beauty I had seen was not even part of the official hike and I then became very excited of what was to come. So I've just joined the trailhead now and we're starting to climb up the mountain which is really good because the scenery is starting to pick up and the views are starting to get really, really massive. I'm going through a small little village right now and it's so rustic and old and there's a little sheepdog protecting some sheep so I'm sure he's going to bark at me as I go past. <laughs> they always do. Walking through this village I noticed how peaceful life was here and I know they probably have their own hardships here 
but compared to the fast paced life in cities, this place just had such a relaxed atmosphere. If I had the money right now, honestly, I would buy a place like this with a field and put some cows in it and I would come here so often and just escape modern life and just live up in the mountains. I think definitely once I finish my visit to every country in the world, I'm gonna find a place like this in the mountains, buy a plot of land with an old rustic house in it, get some cows, get some sheep, and just chill out and live there, which sounds amazing. <laughs> What do you think? Would you ever want to live in a village like this up in the mountains? So the forest around is actually really, really thick and it's so lush and green at the moment and it's really, really, really quiet and peaceful in here. The sun hasn't quite come out yet, it's still a bit behind the mountains and it's nice in the shade. Lovely hiking up the steep incline. It's so nice when there's a break in the trees because you just get greeted with unbelievable views and you're reminded of how high in the mountains you are. So good. And a big part of me was actually really happy for these breaks. Not just because I could have a rest from hiking, but it slowed me down and made me enjoy being in the scenery even longer. So out of nowhere, it's just got really, really steep and we're climbing almost straight up the side of the mountain, which is tough, but it's good getting higher quicker. And I mean, come on, those views are incredible. Like something out of a painting or a movie. <laughs> and if you think those are good, from Valbona Pass at the highest point we're gonna be today, apparently those are unbelievable. I was gaining elevation really quickly and then out of nowhere I came across a little paradise. So behind me is this little cafe, I think it's called Simon Cafe or Simeon Cafe or something like that. But it's really chill in the shade and he's got ice cold beers with like the ice cold water flowing on them. So nice. So I got one to have at the peak. The man who sold me the beer told me there was only about another hour of hiking to get to the peak. And not long after that, I caught my first glimpse of it. The colors of the rocks up here are just magnificent. It feels so wild up here. I honestly feel like I'm maybe in like Colorado or somewhere like that with these type of boulders and, and open trees. But no, Albania, <laughs> beautiful. I took one last moment to relax and enjoy the views before starting the last, very steep section up the peak. Really steep downfall there. We've been cutting back and forth across the mountain coming up. And I think we're not far from the top now. So, last little push. It actually doesn't look it on camera, but this path was right next to the edge of a very big cliff. And so I had to take extra care in that last little bit to get through it. But then, I finally reached it, Valbona Pass. But before going through it, I climbed a little further up to a peak, which had the best view of where I had hiked that day. And if I'm being honest, I couldn't find the words to describe its beauty, so here's a montage instead.
then found a nice spot to sit down and relax and enjoy the ice cold beer I had got. And I appreciated how lucky I was to have experienced this place and to bring you along with me. Where I made it through the pass, there was a nice little peak I went up on, saw some epic views. But now I'm gonna head all the way down here, down into the little village of Theth, where I'm gonna spend the next few days and enjoy some more hikes. The views over Theth Valley were just as incredible as the Valbon Valley. And the mountains just looked enormous, and I continued to be impressed by the sheer size of them. The rest of the hike down to Theth was through a thick forest, so there were only a handful of amazing views, of which you can see now. When I arrived in Theth, I checked into my homestay and explored some more of these wild mountains over the next few days and I was just in complete awe of how incredible this place was. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe to join me on more adventures around the world.